and we are back with part two of the preamble segment. Yep. Trailer bait. Thank you, Johnny. What you got there, buddy? This got- is <laughs> the audio chat. I'm not gonna lie. The the trailer bait is the, the, the uh, segment. Where Johnny and I will each pick a trailer, and if it is baited us, baited us into seeing the movie, and Johnny is up first this week, so Johnny, what do you got? Uh, I'm taking us out west on this one, <whistles> really west. Wow, so far wow, west, it's not wow. even a western anymore. I'm taking us to La La Land. Is that in the ocean? Because it's past the west. That west is like yeah. the Pacific. It's right on the ocean. It's on that. It's okay. On the, it's on the border right there. Border of the ocean. The shoreline. Shoreline. It's on the shoreline. Right. Yeah, this is um, La La Land, um, which the trailer just came out. It doesn't come, It doesn't. Co- the movie doesn't come out until December. So usually we do something more, a little bit more topical. And, but this one was just so good and just came out uh, that I couldn't uh, pass it up. Okay. Okay. Um, this one is starring Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. RG. Yeah. In the hizzy. I mean, and the chemistry those two have is just uh, palpable. And you, the, you know what the funny thing is? They've been, this, you said this is their third movie together. I've never seen them in a movie. I, 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 haven't, seen any, I haven't seen their chemistry yet. Oh, it's good. Crazy Stupid Love. Is, is the one where... That's the one I was, That's yeah. the romantic comedy. Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen that and one. And there's like a few scenes in them where them just alone... Steve Carell is like the main star, but them, those two alone... should be. ...really kind of carry that movie. Um, and it's it's really good. And uh, then they were in the L.A. film, uh, like the L.A. gangster one. I, gangster Squad is what it's called. <clears throat> mm. With Sean Penn as like love interests in that too. And... Uh, People have just been raving about their chemistry. And then, yeah, yeah I mean, they are like the new uh, Bogart and Bacall, you know, Ooh, which is so big words, cool. Big words, big nope, shoes. People don't do movies together as much anymore. Like they're, That's they're true. out exploring. Like dire- That's very true. Yeah. Like directors and actors do, like Leo and Scorsese do a lot, but not like the 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 actors, like a leading Ridley man Scott and, leading and uh, Russell Crowe. Yeah. Yeah. Mel Gibson and Mel Gibson. Yeah. Apocalypto, Braveheart. Was he in Apocalypto? No, he wasn't. No, he, he was the guy. But he was, he in, was, Brave, he was in Braveheart Brave. and the Patriot. Yes. And did he direct any of the Lethal Weapons? Like any of them? I don't know. Well, well he did two movies where he starred in it and directed it. Yeah, one was good, one not so much. Um, Truth. That, speaking of the director, this is by the um, prodigy uh, Damien Chazelle, who did Whiplash. Um, and... Uh, this trailer that, that that's all you had to say like got my attention. <coughs> um, I, I I fucking adored Whiplash. So like, you know when a director is off or a creator, I should say a creator of a movie because he tour. created a yeah. tour, yeah. Because he didn't just direct that; he created that movie. Um, when he's just off his hot streak or he made one or two good movies, you know it's just you have that name, you have that that momentum. Yeah, you could, and that's what you in the trailer you can drop that name and like, oh, I want to see that. It's like with Quentin Tarantino. Every one of Quentin Tarantino's trailers now is like this the the ninth movie by Quentin Tarantino. Like sure. it, 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 you see that every trailer now. Yeah, you know what I mean. And they're so stylized and specific to. There was a, there was a Qu- time Tarantino. Yeah, exactly. And there was a time where Spielberg had that. He doesn't have that anymore, really. Um, no. Um, but there was like a Steven Spielberg film. Yeah. You know? um, anywho. But uh, Chazelle. He's music is huge to him, obviously from Whiplash. His movie before that uh, had a lot of music in it as well, and uh, this is a musical. So you don't see that every day in Hollywood. Yeah, but the trailer isn't very like flashy, like Guys and Dolls or like um, mm. Singing in the Rain. It is. It's more. It's really subdued. It's just Ryan Gosling singing and whistling, and then it's just showing different shots of uh, some of the other musical numbers that. I'm sure Emma and him are going to do. Right. And the colors are so bright, they pop. It takes place in like 1950s LA. Um, almost like Technicolor, film noirish, uh, but it's it looks um, it looks great. And this is, um, I think, the very first time in a trailer bait where I'm going to disagree. Uh, sure. I, I saw this trailer and I, I'm not impressed. Um, to me, this reminded me of... Um, the Brad Pitt, Angelia Jolie movie, the um, By the Sea trailer. Yeah. It's like 
a music is a song is being sung throughout and there's clips are being shown and you're basing it just based off Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone's chemistry. Um, I don't, I don't know what this movie's about. Um, really when I saw the trailer, not denying how it looks or that the hype behind it. Um, and to retort what you just said, this is a better trailer than by the sea. Oh yeah. Um, a hundred times. But that's what it reminded me of where it, it was like, a, a, yeah, I know it's a musical. Um, but I think I just needed a little bit more to convince me and just, but at the same time, I could see that it's my impression is that it's an artistic movie and you have to, you know, and that's a hard thing to sell. It really is. Um, however, you know, it's always tough for a critic or me or, or someone who like, you know, loves film because we'll see anything, you know what I mean? Essentially, sure. you know, we really will for better, or for worse, but. Um, well, I, 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 mean, I, mean, I mean, and that's fine. I think we should agree more on this. Uh, I think that it's a musical. So musicals are a lot harder. It's not, it, there is plot, but it's also the mood comes clearly. The mood of this film comes by very clearly. Sure. Um, the tone, the colors, and, um, and then like the, when, like when they even start dancing and it, like they're dancing in the stars. I mean, that actually, that was my favorite scene in the trailer. Sure. That was by far. My that's that's scene. what took it from good to great to me because it, it's showing. Um, it's like a silhouette of them dancing in space almost. Yeah. And, and musicals are a little uh, crazy. Like they, they don't make sense sure. a lot of the times. Like people don't just go out and sing. Mm. But it's more about. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's a good That's a good way to say. I'm feeling great. I really I'm am. I'm washing my hands, putting on my pants. I'm going to work, going to work, going to work. Yeah. He works really hard. <laughs> we are obviously musically yeah, talented. Very inclined. Very big time. Um, yeah, just but, but that's, I think with a, uh, movie trailers, movie uh, musicals don't even come out that much anymore. It's like a, a dying art. And, uh, you know, this, I just, I saw it and I was like, this is a musical I would go see. This is a musical guys would go see. I think. Well, and, God, Ryan Gosling is like the Justin Timberlake of acting right now. It's just, he's a guy that... They learned it in the uh, Mouse Mouseketeers. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they were both together in that. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're like I boys. didn't know he was a Mouseketeer. I know yeah. JT was. Gosling was too, yeah. No shit. Yeah, that's why he can that. sing, man. He's good. Oh, well. well, he... um. No, I'll just say that he's the uh, JT is just that... The whole... um. Um, girls want him and guys want to be him sort of mentality sort yeah. of thing just the, he looks and he, he can do it all sort of mentality you know um, yeah musicals are um, it, it's weird what they are now in terms of sp especially in Hollywood you know we were talking about back in the 40s god damn it was a musical every three musicals every year four you yeah. know like um, my family my dad's family my dad's side of the family huge on musicals sure Back in the day, too. Like all they watch, they don't watch movies past 1985, I would say. Yeah. I'm not joking about that. They don't. Um, we're talking, you know, King and I to My Fair Lady to Dr. Doolittle to... Guys and Dolls. Got, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's... Hello, Dolly. Yeah. It's... It, that's what they watch. And, you know, that was a time that they was familiar to them. I remember, um, you know, Moulin Rouge was probably one of the last big musicals I remember to come out. I remember they were trying to come up with other musicals. And there was one with um, Ewan McGregor again, I believe, and um, Renee Zellweger, and it bombed. It came mm -hmm. out shortly after Moulin Rouge, trying to be like, oh, musicals are back sort of thing. Yeah. And it bombed. And, and, and then you don't hear from musicals again. I mean, like Les Mis and Chicago and all this, but those are like serious. Those yeah, aren't like, that was like feel good, that, that have fun. That was like written long time ago. They were like movie adaptations, like Phantom sure. and Les Mis. Like those were long. I'm talking about like more original movies or. And this seems almost completely original. Yeah. Which, yeah. which I like. And, but it has a lot of odes to singing in the rain, just with the colors, sure. the yellows. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just have to digest it more. Yeah. And, and you know, like my, I'm just talking about my first impression. I was just like, okay. Um, but. You know, and then there could be, I'll wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what? I haven't seen a musical in a while and see it. And honestly, I, I, and I could like it. I don't know. Um, and not, and not, I never said this trailer looked bad by any means. I just wasn't like, oh my God. But the whole musical aspect, I, I yeah, I think there needs a little bit more love for musicals in Hollywood now. We don't yeah. see enough of them. And I'm not saying we need them everywhere, 
like comic book movies, but we need them. We need more. I'd yeah. say we need a, like one a year at least, or something like that. So you know? you're gonna catch and release this one. I I'm, I'm I bit. I'm bit. I'm in. Good. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, and I'm, and when I say bit and release, a bit, it's like kind of like um, you know, piece of cheese. You know, about the cheese. Yeah, but you had the cheese with like some salami tastes better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or with some pizza or something like that. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Okay. So just need a, a little bit more oomph. That's all. I don't know yet. But I'll see it. Maybe we'll be a bribe. I don't know. All right, cool. Well, let's move on to our second part of trailer bait. My trailer. Coming up next.